Normally, I like to put it like they have tested you in the spirit and they found that, hey, you are dangerous. Now, I want to show you something. Hello, everyone, and I welcome you to today's video. It's Ishmael and your priest. Listen very well. Uh, you know, the scripture that I loved right now, I was given, is that one of when the Israelites, the way, those spies were sent to spy uh, out the land of Canaan. And they came back. What? Do you remember? Hey, they were so discouraged. They were like, yo, they are giants. We won't stand the chance. They became scared, right? Just try to picture it for a moment. They went there. Their God is good. But then fear came over them. They were like, no ways. Ha, huh, how can I defeat? Did you even see that one who was like, so that thing on its own. I'm not talking about the spirit right now only. But look at this. Physically so. They were planning and the Canaanites, they knew nothing about those that they were enemies to the children of Israel. Perhaps maybe they had, but they just felt like, ah, they won't stand a chance. But let me show you something. It was easy for those Israelites to feel like, yo, guys, let us not deceive ourselves. These guys, they're going to kill us. They're going to tear us apart. Uh -uh, I ain't going nowhere. I am not even going to try. You get that the thing. Now, let me ask you a question about yourself. What happens to those who attempt to want to come against you? When they come against you, when they try, what happens? And they find that you are powerful. They find that there is God in your life. They find that what? You are strong. When they see you, they want to fight you spiritually. They'll be like, whew. I'm feeling like you're a resistance. I can't enter that house. They run back. You yourself, you're sleeping in peace. You don't even know. In fact, they never even succeeded in trying to attack you because they love you. Ah, ah, the moment I just thought I myself, well, the moment, oh, when I was, oh, I was about to open the door. Oh, no ways. Guys, mm -mm, they run. Listen, that is what is also happening to you. They try to come against you. Oh my God. But then they go back and they give a report. If such could happen to the people who had God, they, they became scared not to even not want to even dare to fight at all. How much more now about darkness who are coming against you? Isn't it amazing that some people, they fear you before they fight you? We know that some people are mostly, they will fear you after you defeat them. But how about those that fear you even before you fight them? That is why I want to tell you that anyone that is to come against you, if that is what's not happening in your life, I pray, I declare, and I declare, they shall, they shall begin to fear you. They shall go back and give a report that, hey, you are too powerful. You have God in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Anyone who comes against you, may the Lord rebuke. May the power of God surround you. May they be stricken down. May they lose. May they be defeated. Let them not, let them not even try to come against you. May your protection, may your angels of God who surround you. Fight every battle without you ever laying a hand in lifting a hand in Jesus' mighty name, amen. And feel free, you can book an appointment with me. My details are in the comment section below. See you next time.